Hello and welcome to the Energy Connect studio at Adipec 2024. I'm delighted to have sitting next to me in the studio today, Varghese Daniel, the co-founder and CEO of Branch Solutions. Daniel, thank you so much for being in the studio. Thank you, thank you. To start off, now with 95% of EPC projects facing uh, delays, now is it really practical to expect that AI will significantly short, shorten this, these uh, delays and be like the magic wand for all these problems? <laughs> Yes, so I wouldn't say that significantly reduce. It's an incremental reduction because what we are seeing today is that we plan our projects based on how we execute, which means we start with engineering, we do procurement, do construction, and it goes on. So we call it as left to right. Now, actually, if you look at it, if you're building a house, for you, construction is when the actual construction has happened. That's when your project is completed. When the construction is completed, your project is completed. So our thought process is you should start planning based on what should be constricted and then work backwards that for construction, what drawings are required, what items to be bought, so that you're always making sure that you are, construction is happening at a rapid pace. And many a time we use 3D models and others to visualize our uh, product that we are building, you could also consider that you could do a lot of construction parallelly. Like you're making, once you make the foundation, you could probably start from all four sides to make your walls, or you could do your you know external uh, boundary walls. You can do a lot, I mean, it's an example. So when you go to a larger equipment, you can sequence your construction from serial to parallel or concurrent. So that is the scope for doing things you know, in a concurrent manner, which could consider reduction. Then, in each construction, when I do, I learn a lot of things. A lot of things don't work as per my plan. So I take my course corrections. And in these course corrections that I did on those projects, becomes a lesson which you can teach the machine learning. So a smart project manager who did mitigate the risk of a delay, that is lost with that project manager. Instead of that, if you teach a machine, it never forgets. And everybody else can access that. And that is how gradually you can move towards reducing your construction uh, project completion time. I think that's an excellent point about, you know, not letting the learning go waste. And, but when uh, organizations and companies are adopting these uh, solutions, what are the challenges that they uh, typically face? The most important, the biggest challenge we have is we don't have information or which means we don't have data, or you have a lot of data, we don't know how to get that data. Like, we used to you. I mean, we are all used to Google search. Now, if it throws up one page of data and then you're trying to filter out which is the right data relevant, you spend a lot of time. Once ChatGPT has come, it takes all the data, compiles it and gives it to you. And you don't have to go through multiple pages of information to get what you need. And that is what which revolutionized the way we think, right? I mean, this, the AI is applied there. So we are all understanding that there are ways by which if you give the right data to a machine learning, it can learn from it and interpret from it and give you just the information what you require from getting all the data. So what is the gap that we see is people don't have information in data form. They have it in documents and also it is in multiple system. You have a planning application like Primavera or MS Project, which has got the schedule. Mm -hmm. You have a ERP system, which has got the cost. You have multiple silos of system, which are having other information, or construction information somewhere. But unless you tie it all together, it can't make sense. So you need to digitalize the way you do things so that the data becomes integrated mm -hmm. and useful to the machine learning to be taught so it can interpret and give you the right information. So that is the issue that we are facing. So we have to start from first digitalizing how we do things. Now, that's a very comprehensive process. What role does Rank Solutions play in, in, in doing this? And can you tell us more about your organization? Okay, so, so we are basically an organization which specializes in project control. What we have over the last couple of years after we saw the power of what ChatGPT can do, and with OpenAI being available 
on a Microsoft platform. So mm -hmm. our application is completely built on Microsoft. And because of the power that AI could give, our job of using that project control data, which means project control means you look at the project from a schedule, right. from its progress, from its cost, from its deliverables of engineering, procurement, risk, safety, quality, risk, every parameter we were capturing anyway in our system. So what we do is, we set up our application mm. to digitalize these processes and integrate all this data and give you a very integrated view of your project status. Now, that's fantastic for running a project. But can you help me do the next project better than the previous project that I did? So if I have multiple projects data being captured mm -hmm. and I can give it to the machine learning, it can suggest to you that what all you know, didn't work in the previous project and, and those things which you failed to do because it didn't happen the way you thought right. and somebody corrected it, that is learned by machine learning and it aids the project manager. So it's mm -hmm. not something where a project manager's role is going away. It's aiding the project manager to do things better. So we as an organization establish this integrated system for project controls and we provide this to teach our machine learning from past project data to help do projects on time and on budget or even working towards doing it faster and earlier and at a at a lesser cost right now has this been implemented in in companies and like earlier you were talking about learnings and what has been your learning uh, uh, in these project implementations see uh, one of the major reasons why this has become a requirement now is that till we got COVID, we never ever had a scenario where something was unpredictable. We could go anywhere, we could plan things. Now, everything has become an uncertain thing. You never know, I mean, uh, in Dubai or in, uh, in Middle East, how, how many times we had unpredictable rains, we got into floods. So the climate change has drastically affected everything. So when you set out on a project, you thought that these things are taken for granted. Now yeah. you can't. Climate change is an issue. Yeah. The, uh, the uh, things like COVID is an issue. You have other geopolitical problems that we all go through. Yeah. Due to it, many things have become unpredictable. So these are things where AI can play a role in giving you early warning mm -hmm. that this is a this weather can failure or you know these things could have your shipment can be delayed because of these reasons. It can give you an early warning by which you can mitigate the risk of delays in a project. So how, I mean, what we have seen mm -hmm. is that this is a must-have uh, mode now in this unpredictable world now. Okay. So we as an organization have been doing this in ideal situation where mm -hmm. managing projects. Now, unforeseen un, uh, conditions and unpredictable situation or unprecedented situations also can be managed with the power of AI. Absolutely. And thank you, Daniel, for your insights and for your superb analysis. Thank and you. Sincerely appreciate you coming down to the studio. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to follow us on our social media and at energyconnect.com. I'll be back with more studio interviews from Adipec 2024. Stay tuned.